Tonight, the Lions and all of the fans are putting the loss to Tampa Bay in the past. Yes, back there back somewhere. There. And the Lions are uh, prepping for game day on Thanksgiving Day when they take on the Packers. Listen to what Coach Schwartz says to 7 Sports Director Tommy Lydon. It's a different week. We're with Coach Schwartz in the flesh here on a Monday after the Lions drop a game in heartbreaking fashion to the Buccaneers. And a couple of guys in the locker room yesterday uh, expressed the need in their estimation for the players to get together and, and get on the same page. Give us your thoughts on where the team is after a couple of tough losses. Our players are on the same page. Um, you know, that was a bitter loss. And like you said, I mean, we had gotten in field goal range at the end. We're still being aggressive trying to go win the game. It ended up going against us. But our players are resilient. We have good leaders on our team. And uh, we know that regardless of what's happened in the last couple of weeks, we're still in first place. And we can't let um, yesterday roll into next week, the week after that, the week after that. We have a five-game season. We're half game up in the NFC North, and we need to act accordingly. I know you're a big believer in Matthew Stafford. I am, too. There's such a fine line when the game moves so quickly, and he's got to make such quick decisions. But many of these turnovers have been him throwing interceptions. What sort of advice does he have to take into account so those numbers go down? Well, I mean, every quarterback's going to throw an interception. You can't gain, you're not going to gain a yard if you're afraid of throwing interceptions. So that being said, uh, we want him to remain aggressive. And a couple of those are sort of, I don't want to say freaky things. I mean, you can't put it on the quarterback when you have balls that are tipped and bouncing around and stuff like that. But there were a couple that, um, you know, that, that we have a little better discretion on as we attack down the field, particularly trying to get the ball to Calvin. You know, Calvin's our best playmaker. He's probably the best player in the NFL. But, you know, sometimes uh, you go to him and the ball's going to be up there. Calvin can make those plays, but sometimes the defense makes them. We want to remain aggressive. I think that's been one of the things that's gotten us to six wins so far, and it's going to continue over the next five games. Give me your thoughts on the blocked punt because right from the get-go it looked weird because you had the guy on the wing wide open yet it almost seemed like they were planning to do that can you walk us through what you saw and how that play evolved well that, a lot of teams do that and there's a lot of ways to be able to handle that and uh, we didn't communicate it well we had a call for it um, we didn't communicate it well anytime you get a pump blocked it's almost always a miscommunication and um, we had almost blocked one a couple series before that we, we tipped one of their punts um, but they all sort of come from the same type area. Um, we've had that situation happen earlier this year. A couple other teams have tried it. They haven't been able to block the pump because we've executed well within our scheme, and that's one we didn't execute very well. Our defense, I thought, did a really good job. We went on the field, um, got a three and out. I think we even got a sack on the play and then held them to a long field goal, which they missed, and our offense ended up with pretty good field position after that. We didn't do enough with it after that, but I thought our defense did a good job responding to the block punt. Uh, that's a quick look at what happened yesterday with Coach Schwartz. I'm telling you, you feel different when you're here the day after a game because you can feel the page being turned. And it's a short week, and I know it's going to be helpful that that game is Thursday. So appreciate the time as always. Thanks.